If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Iago Aspas to check out. Uh, with this card, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'9", high, high work rates, 3-star skimmels, they 4-star weak foot. Not really sure why they didn't give the 4-star skimmels. 4-star skimmels is actually kind of helpful in the meta of gameplay, but it's not necessarily too terrible that he doesn't have it, right? But, you know... Um, by default, this is a card that I could potentially see being used as a left attacking mid if he has... Oh, he's got finesse shots. Okay, that adds to it a little bit. Yeah, finesse shot plus is kind of crazy. He's a left-footed player that you're probably going to use on the right-hand side because that finesse shot plus is a nuts. And he already has good base card stats for finishing, but a very strangely formatted card. Very strangely formatted. Honestly... He kind of looks like a cam, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, on an engine chemistry style or something to make him as responsive as possible, work with the finesse shot plus, and then already have base card stats for shooting in a certain area. But then there's also the fact that I could potentially give him a, a hawk chemistry style and his dribbling hopefully is good by default. But it does look very strangely formatted, 100%. Um, but regardless, I feel like improving pace will definitely be very important. Uh, with this card, we're going to have... Improved pace. Shooting is already at a 93. We're going to give him a chemistry style to improve that. Passing will be in a decent area. 80 for stamina. It definitely looks like a card that almost plays in like a secondary striker roll cam position. Like that's honestly how he looks formatted wise. Um, yeah, very interesting. He He's very, very strangely formatted though. Like that has to be said. Passing stats on the lower side, but obviously decent enough for the most part. But yeah, he is five foot nine, so I do want to see what his body type is going to be like. I'm not sure. I think doesn't Aspas have like his own? He might actually. Let's see. I haven't done like an Aspas card review in a minute, so yeah, lean body type. It looks interesting. Hawk chemistry cell gives you a little bit of a pace. It's nice to have higher acceleration in certain situations, though. So that's where it's like, yeah, I want to give him like a hunter, you know, boost the pace, boost the shooting cam position i would just work with the balance being lower because i have to experiment with the five foot nine height lean body type key thing here is going to be traits or play styles right so he already has finesse shot plus very overpowered play style so that's going to be a very key thing to look at dead ball is amazing for free kicks even if he doesn't have the plus style just having dead ball is crazy you guys know i think it was rare gold rodrigo that doesn't have the plus version and it's really really good to work with incisive pass trivella is also helpful too so yeah doesn't have skill moves very strangely formatted card, but maybe could be decent in game. So yeah, we'll go ahead and complete the card and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, guys. So yeah, key thing here is whether or not the card is going to perform a certain way with a hunter chemistry style, because it's going to be for me, either a hunter or an engine for the most part, uh, because he's strangely formatted in dribbling. And if I decide to use him as a cam, it wouldn't be horrible. But the thing is, man, is that because he has the finesse shot plus, right? That finesse shot plus is really, really crazy to work with. So we're going to do that. If we get free kicks, I mean, if, even if we don't get free kicks, we could just go to moments to show that off because um, it's good that EA actually added that because before it never used to be like that. Um, but yeah, we'll go to roles and we'll make sure Courtois. Why is this on Courtois? They still do that. I guess it's like if it's, if it's the first person you add. It's all Courtois. Oh my goodness. Uh, imagine if I didn't see the dead ball thing, huh? We'll even give him captain C. Why not? Um, but yeah, because what I'm thinking is like obviously four two three one, and then I use I use him as a cam. I would say you know because of the the way that he's formatted with pace and whatnot, and maybe I can get some finesse shot angles with him, right? So we'll do that. We'll leave it as is, and we'll try him out and see how he plays. He was initially making a run. That's why I forced that. Because he was actually forcing that a lot right there. We'll take that. Good stuff, boys. I'm 
Am I? I was looking somewhere else. Did that ball just fly like crazy? You have to see that afterwards. I definitely noticed the balance, but it doesn't seem like a nuisance so far. Like when I did the Xavi Simmons card the other day, like his left stick was really annoying. But on that card, it doesn't feel too bad so far. Hmm, should have done a lob pass. Great run though. Oh, already starting off hot with those finesse shots, my boy. <laughs> Less power, and that's a goal. Nice. He does a, a side footed shot there, but it works out. So we'll definitely take that, right? We'll definitely take that. Okay, a little defensive play. I feel the balance a little bit there in those key areas for sure. Yeah, so when you're dribbling, like those key areas there, when I was trying to like use this technical and stuff, you definitely feel the balance part of the card being on the lower side, right? So that's where like the engine could be cool to use. It depends on the situation, right? Nice pass, but definitely have to go back here. Ooh, close. The buildup was like really good to work that finesse shot angle, that's why. R1 dribble, ball roll dribble, doesn't have the skill moves, I, always, I have to remember that, I'll try to do the L1 uh, heel to heel there and I couldn't. <laughs> Ooh, the first touch, you see that? So you gotta be very mindful of that. Yeah, even with the weak foot, you see? It's it's really, really effective. Like, that's the thing, right? If I give him a hunter, I'm going to have to work with the balance for sure. But if you understand the angles for the finesse shots, you're going to hit bangers with it. No registration to receive the ball. That happens a lot, though. I never really blame the player for Bro, imagine I was able to make a pass from that angle. That would have been nuts. That's a, like, you have to have, like, super high passing. Maybe some passing traits that hit it from there. It's a little bit crazy on my part. Yeah, more power. Always got to watch for those finesse shot angles with him for sure. It's weird. Have to really work with that balance sometimes. It's very strange. He has that like that little small thing to it, man. Small thing to it throws him off a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, I like that movement. That pass was a letdown, though. Oh, there we go. Touch. Now that's a finesse. Ah, it's, it's coming off of too much emphasis, man. Too much. Has to be more controlled. If it's off of that emphasis, you gotta put way more power behind it. Imagine. Touch into the strike. Good. That was very solid, man. Very, very solid. He has good attacking AI there. That's the thing about the the hunter, right? Like, yeah, his, his balance feels a certain way, but he's got the high shooting to be able to score an opportunity like that. It looks like he contextually does the Trivello there, too. Nice. Bad giveaway by him. Aspa is well positioned. We'll take that. I'll watch the kickoff here. There we go. Pass off. Okay, stop. Yeah, see, that's why they're the small little dribbles, to kind of fake them out a little bit, see what happens, you know? There he is, man. Well positioned again. Well positioned again. Good stuff. Oh, kick off again. Oh, we're good, though. He gets a defensive play without me noticing. I like it. Look, he makes that movement there, too. See, it's, it's good movements, man. Those are very, very solid movements. I, I, I need those types of attacking AI plays, you know? Oh, lucky. Because I tackled in that general area, so maybe he could have, like, reached in a little bit, you know? Ooh, close, man. Very close. Oh, and he messed up. Trivella. Yeah, bad giveaway again. Uh, that's a lot of, like, people, like, spamming the bruiser, by the way. So, oh, go back here. Watch the kickoff. And we're good. Oh! Oh, the block, man. Try to take a first-time strike there. It didn't work out, though. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, very close. Very, very close. Yeah, too much space, man. Too much space. Finesse shot plus is too crazy, guys. Like, that's... I was literally working that angle for the finesse. It's so important to have that, especially when you're up against, like, the really, really park the bus guys, right? So... Oh, that registration's horrible. Oh my goodness, EA, what was that? This guy's standing right there. He's like, no. Not today, my friend. Look at the movement. He's he's got the he's got the right attacking AI, man. I'm telling you. He has the right one. Yeah, stops the ball in place really quickly. That's good. Oh, the balance part. See, so be careful. You're coming off of the body fades and stuff. He's definitely going to do something. But look, it's that one. If I get that pass off and I can get the finesse shot angle afterwards, it's perfect. I still got it. This is the build up, right? So you want to wait until he kind of gets into that 18 yard box area. So transition a little bit, build up slowly, right? Can't do that one right there because it doesn't pass to the right person, unfortunately, but we're chilling still. Yeah, he's got the good movie mentals. Pass it off. 
me a little attacking AI stuff here. There we go. Oh, got to do a lot pass instead. Good pass. Keep it around, though. Definitely going to dribble a little bit slowly here. Wait for the movements. Oh, yeah, and it's on his left foot. Oh, but the emphasis being added a little bit. He's going to do a Trivella again. Uh, the shot animation, you see that? We'll take that. We'll take that. Keen with his attacking AI, man. Same thing as previous years, huh? That's my boy right there. Trivella from there? Oh, I imagine. Oh, that, that's too close to the middle for that to be a really good one. Way too close. Oh, it's very close, though. He was making a good move. I did, like, the L1 touch there. It was so good. Oh, even from that angle, he could still swing it. That's crazy. Ah, I try to feel the Trivella there. It's always best for the actual corner kicks where he's on his left foot, though. Those are always going to be best for sure. Ah, oh, I thought that was Aspas. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's why I took the shot right away. <laughs> uh, the name didn't pop up right away for me. Like in my head, I don't know if it actually did on the screen or not, but you know. Corner kick tactic. It do be like that. It do be like that. Oh, I actually have to kick the ball out. Excuse me. What? Wow. I didn't know that. I, I, wow. Okay, guys. So this is like the dead ball situation. So shout out to EA, whoever did this. The L trigger guy is the one that did this. Uh, the one that did this like moments thing for sure. But basically with dead ball guys, you can hit some crazy free kicks. You can already see that he has his own animation for it. So in a situation like this, I think it'd be like, I think it'd be like here. You see what I'm saying? So having a dead ball play style is going to be really, really crazy. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new flashback Aspas in-game. So, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I wish they released more SPCs like this. The player SPCs they have released recently for the price range has been absolutely ridiculous. Pri like, we, we have to say it, right? I don't think that this is one of them. I think that this card at 83k is a fairly valued price SBC. I would ignore the dislikes on the card because here's the thing, guys. In this game, I look at very key things, right? So sure, doesn't have the skill moves. I don't really care that much about it, okay? Because of the Finesse Shot Plus. Finesse Shot Plus is such an effective play style to have in the game right now, especially if people are really, really playing defensive, right? If you can't really break down uh, the 18 yard box sort of attacking plays against defense, this is going to be the type of guy to have in a team to either hit a strike on his left foot or on his right foot, okay? Because he has Finesse Shot Plus, because he has Trivella, the Trivella part of the card will contextually activate in-game. You do not have to actually hold L trigger for it to pop off, which is great because when you provide him with that Hunter chemistry style to boost the pace, to boost the shooting, it's going to be a very nice card to work with. And in my opinion, playing a card like this is going to be very ideal in that right-sided area or specifically playing 
in the cam position because his pace is on the lower side. You definitely feel the acceleration and the balance part of the card, but I didn't even bother trying him out on the engine, guys, because with this game and the way that it feels, I want my finishing stat to be as high as possible, especially if I'm working with two of the meta play styles when it comes to shooting capabilities. So yeah, this is a card you can ignore the dislikes on. I, I agree with it at first because it's a strangely formatted card, but in game guys, it's going to be a great card to work with. His attacking AI is good. He contextually does the Trivella sometimes for some of his strikes. Uh, his finesse shots are insane. I hit him on his weak foot, on his strong foot. It didn't really matter. Um, it's just a pretty decent SBC. Like, this is actually a very, very solid card to get, especially if you're working with specific links with Spanish players, right? Especially a card like Lorente, right? A lot of people, I can totally see them, honestly, rocking a team with Griezmann and Aspas in the same exact squad because that finesse shot trait is just really, really nuts to work with. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.